Well, hi, my name's Peggy, and I think you and I have the same book. And what I'm going to do right now is open up to a page where I'm going to start to read. And this one is from the movie called The Good Dinosaur. Maybe you've seen the movie. I don't know, but it's got some great characters in here. So here we go. It's all about Arlo. It's called Arlo's Birthday Adventure. Arlo was excited. The next day was the triplet's seventh birthday, and every year Mama and Papa planned a special day away from the farm. The previous year they had gone berry picking. The year before that they had collected flowers. Arlo shifted from foot to foot. He couldn't wait to find out what his parents had planned for him. Well, Mama, Papa said when he came in from the field, would you look at these young'uns? Why, they look like they're just about old enough for an adventure. Yeah, shouted Buck. Let's go adventuring. Oh, where are we going, Mama? Libby asked. Where? Arlo gulped. An adventure? Oh, that sounded scary. Surely his parents wouldn't plan anything too scary, would they? Mama smiled at Libby. We're going for a picnic by my favorite waterfall. It's where Papa and I met, you know. Aw, boo, shouted Buck. You said we were going on an adventure. What's so exciting about an old waterfall? As the oldest, I think, oh, only by 15 seconds, Arlo interrupted. Oh, come on, Buck, Papa said. Seeing the waterfall is only part of the fun. First, we have to get there. And boy, I'll tell you, climbing to a waterfall can be quite the adventure. Oh, they're climbing out of their house. Look how, how much Papa has to duck down. The next morning, they set off bright and early. We'd best be going if we want to make it to the waterfall before it gets too hot, Papa said. Buck and Libby groaned. They hated getting up before sunrise. But Arlo had barely slept. All night he'd been worrying about the hike. What if he got lost? What if he stepped on something and got hurt? There was a lot that could go wrong on a hike. Arlo looked over at Mama and started to smile. She was carrying a basket of his favorite berries. Maybe the hike wouldn't be so bad after all. What kind of berries do you think they are? Oh, look, Libby's yawning. And there's Arlo getting ready to go. It wasn't long before Arlo's belly started to grumble. Mama, I'm hungry, he said. Can I have some berries? But Mama just shook her head. The berries are for your birthday picnic, Arlo. Come along, there'll be plenty to eat when we get to the waterfall. Arlo sighed and kept walking. It was his birthday. Why should he have to wait? Suddenly, Arlo stopped in his tracks. He'd been so busy thinking about eating that he hadn't noticed when everything around him got darker. Without realizing it, he'd follow Mama right into a dark forest. Arlo's kind of a warrior. Up ahead, Mama, Papa, Buck, and Libby happily continued on their way. They hadn't even noticed that Arlo wasn't with them anymore. Arlo's eyes darted back and forth as he followed the path. Strange shadows lurked in the trees, and sharp branches poked him as he ran. Mama, he shouted, wait up! Do you know anybody like Arlo? By the time Arlo caught up with his family, they were climbing up a very muddy hill. Arlo looked ahead at his siblings already in the mud and thought he'd had enough adventuring for the day. Mama, he called, can I have some berries now? What do you think Mama said? Oh, no, she shook her head. Not until we get to the waterfall, she said. Come on, Arlo, we're almost there, but be careful. The mud is slippery. Wow, you can see that. Look at the footprints in the mud. <laughs> oh, there's Buck. Arlo started to climb. He hadn't taken more than three steps when something slid past him. It was Buck. Yahoo, Buck shouted, sliding through the mud on his back. This is awesome. You think Arlo thinks it's awesome? I don't know. At the top of the hill, Arlo could see Libby running around the trees and jumping out at Mama and Papa. Boo, she shouted, making Papa laugh. 
Slowly but steadily, Arlo continued up the muddy hill. Come on, Slowpoke, Buck called, running past him. Last one to the waterfall doesn't get any berries. Arlo put his head down and continued climbing. I can do this. At least I think maybe I can. He climbed a bit further and stumbled on a rock along the way. It's my birthday. I can do anything today, and I'm not going to let Buck eat my birthday berries. Finally, Arlo reached the top of the hill. He found his family staring at a giant fallen tree. What's wrong, he asked. Mama pointed at the tree. Well, this is the path we usually take to the waterfall, but it's blocked. We'll have to go another way. Papa looked around. Gee, it looks like our only choice is across these fallen rocks. That cave there might be a dead end, he said. What do you think, Mama? Arlo gulped. He didn't like the idea of going into a dark cave or climbing over a bunch of fallen rocks. But you can see that pretty waterfall over there. They gotta get there. Mama nodded. I think you're all big enough to handle a few fallen rocks. And besides, look at that waterfall right on the other side. That's the one. Well then, what are we waiting for, Papa shouted. Let's go. Papa set off across the rocks with Libby and Buck close behind. Arlo went next. He slowly stepped over one rock, then another. He was going to reach that waterfall if it was the last thing he did. But as Mama started down the path, she tripped. The basket of berries went flying, and the berries rolled into the nearby cave. No, Arlo shouted. He'd gone all that way and he was not going to miss eating his birthday berries. He turned around and ran straight into the dark cave. Look at him go. Doesn't seem so scared now. What happened to Arlo? Libby asked. He just turned around and ran into that cave, Mama explained. Buck looked at the dark cave. Arlo went in there? No way! Papa cast a worried look at the cave. Maybe I gotta got go in and look for after him. But before Papa could take another step, Arlo came out from the cave and in his mouth was the basket and it was full of berries. Hey, guess what, Arlo called out. The cave isn't a dead end and it leads right to the waterfall. I can't believe you went in there alone, Buck said. Weren't you scared, Libby asked. Arlo gestured at the berries. Well, Mama picked these berries and carried them all this way. I wasn't about to let them go to waste. Now, come on, we've got a waterfall to see. Arlo turned around and walked back through the tunnel and his family followed. Papa smiled at Mama. It looks like our boy is growing up. That he is, Mama said, taking the berries from Arlo. Now I think it's time for that birthday picnic. And the first berries go to Arlo for saving the day. Libby and Buck nodded. Way to go, Arlo, they cheered. Ah, uh, Arlo said as he happily munched on his berries and looked at the waterfall. I guess some things are worth waiting for after all. So, did you like it? Thanks for listening.